You never know what you'll find at the Great American Garage Sale, which officially got underway today. News source Abby Fridman stopped by on opening day to show us the deals to be had. If you stop by Antique World in Clarence on a typical day, you'll find a good number of vendors selling their belongings out of the buildings and the handful of garages on the property. But it's a different story for the Great American Garage Sale, where hundreds and hundreds park on the grass, hoping one man's trash is another man's treasure. We're open year round every Saturday and Sunday, but the first of the month, you know, is always always the best day by far. Owner of Antique World, Ben Schultz, says they look forward to opening up their property on the first Sunday of every month from May through October. It's open to anyone and it's not just antiques. Also on Saturdays, starting next week, we're starting our front row farmers market. Anybody with uh, produce, baked goods, any of that type of stuff, they can actually set up for free on the front Roll. No garage is required for this sale in the community. It's a staple and a sign that spring is here. I shop. I come. I've been coming here since this place got planted. Well, it's not your typical garage sale. There are hundreds of vendors set up here at Antique World selling pretty much whatever is in their attic or their garage, kitchen, basement, closet. There's people selling antique signs glassware, t-shirts, pretty much anything you can think of you can find it here. Ben is not exaggerating. Well, to give you an example, we sold a skeleton in our auction yesterday, a human skeleton. <laughs> How much did it go for? $5,000. So, whether you're looking to sell some vintage Bills gear or in the market for some trading cards, shoppers say it's easy to get addicted to the treasure hunt. You come yeah, every weekend? Pretty much. It's an illness, but my house is a museum, so. Great American Garage Sale is still accepting vendors. Schultz says they'll make room for anyone who's looking to make room in their house. Reporting in Clarence, Abby Fridman, News 4.